Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, and this is Alex. Hey. And today we're going to be checking out the Weekender series from High Tech, specifically the Warbirds. Yeah. Great little park flyer Warbirds. Throw them in the back of your car, take them out anywhere. Yes. It's a great series. The Weekender series is an awesome series from High Tech, so definitely check out their other planes too. Uh, but we actually got a chance to fly these great little Warbirds at Fury Field, which is a beautiful location in Malvern, Ohio. And yes. that's a pretty special location. Why is that? Uh, for 2014 Flight Fest going to be the first annual fly-in that we're going to be hosting, yes. uh, Festival of Flight. We want to share some memories and fellowship with you wonderful folks, so look for a Kickstarter program and some links coming soon. Yeah, and that's uh, going to be July 25th to the 27th, so mark it in your books, and we hope to see you guys all there. Absolutely. Well, let's go ahead and show them how this flew. Check, Check it out. out. <laughs> Whoa, that was creepy. <laughs> Today we're going to have some fun with the Weekender Warbirds from High Tech. Yeah. So we got the P-51D, the Corsair, and the Hawker Hurricane. And you know, a lot of people always wonder about specs, and it's yeah, really we hard. Yeah, don't, we don't talk about specs very so, often, apparently, and that makes people mad. Yeah, pause it in three, two, one. Specs. There, we gave them the specs. <laughs> so you can't complain now. You got all the specs you need because we want to go fly these things and have some fun. But let's go ahead and check them out first. Eric, what do you think of yours? Well, uh, this is the P-51. I'm, uh, I've never flown this one yet, so. No, I, this is going to be amazing for this one. Yeah, so it's going to. It looks, gonna, great. It looks great. The ailerons are a little tiny. It's kind of getting me worried. Pretty but, scale. Yeah, pretty scale. I, I've got uh, I got six kills right wow. here on the side, wow. so you guys better watch That's out. That's pretty good for a plane you've never yeah, flown before. Exactly. Huh? <laughs> and, and a beautiful four-bladed uh, four prop, too. Yeah, yeah nice. we'll see how that holds up. <laughs> we'll find out really quickly. So guys? I got the F4U Corsair, and again, super, super scale. I got my drop tanks and my rockets, uh, which are made of foam. Yeah. But uh, it good. looks looks real good. I, I'm feeling pretty good about this one already. Now these I, all have steerable tail wheels. You guys know that? Yeah. Yeah, steerable tail wheels. So you can taxi them, take off if you have a hard surface runway. And uh, speaking of hard surface, if you don't and you have tall grass, all these landing gears remove with just one screw. You can also remove the uh, the armament. Uh, some of them have sticky tape. Some of them you have to glue in. Um, if you're worried about that, just put a couple little permanent magnets in on those components. Then that way they, they magnet up in there. Cool. But we're gonna fly these things dirty because uh, you don't know what the characteristics are gonna be when all that drags on it. We want to give you that, that experience. What are you flying? The Hawker Hurricane. And it scares the tar out of me because I'm looking at these wings. That was an early warbird in, in its day. Yeah, it in was. The, in the war, anyways. It, it's Those beautiful. were fairly unstable and real, real full scale. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure they were. So I'm, I'm kind of curious, but I like the forward swept landing gear. I love the scale detail. I don't know if you can see this. All of the landing gears, they didn't just put a wire sticking down here. They all have the, uh, the proper landing gear skirting along with it, too. So that, that's just gorgeous. And the fact that you can take it off and then you have the look of a retract is, is, is amazing. Pretty well. cool. Yeah. Well, you want, what do you say? You want to go get them in the air? Let's, let's get our batteries and check and get them in the air. Let's do it. All right. Okay. Well, we have a nice runway, but it's bumpy. And uh, they sent us extra props and I forgot them at the shop. So I'm just going to hand launch everybody. So Alice, cool. let me get you in the air first. Yeah, sure. Thanks, man. All right. Now, one thing is there's a lot of disc area here. And if you throw this at the edge of a stall, this disc area is going to overcome and torque the plane. So if you're going to throw this, make sure you throw it with a little bit of speed. And, uh, and plenty of throttle. You ready? Yeah. There's one. You good? Uh -huh. Thank you, sir. No problem. Now this is your maiden. You never flown this one. Yeah, this is uh, should be interesting. All right, no stress. Did you check to see if the ailerons were going the right direction? Yeah, they're all. I checked that all before, and it's out of trim substantially. Oh, good. So That's how maidens are supposed to be. I'm gonna work on that here for a minute. Fine. <laughs> Decent. All right, let's see if I can launch it. It's pretty nice though. Is yeah. it? Pretty smooth. It's. Uh, I felt like it was lacking power at first, but now that I'm backing off the throttle a little bit, I'm just under half throttle, and I got my ailerons dialed in, and everything else is right on. Well, I'm full throttle. I'm cruising at about half, but it's not going to go vertical or anything. But it's. It's flying nice in scale, which is cool. Yeah. Because it looks nice in well, scale. And that's one thing deceiving with a lot of planes and stuff. A lot of people think all warbirds have to fly trainers and they've gotten them to where they are. But with this scale detail, you're not gonna always get the tendencies of a, of a gradual stall and things like that. So keep on, that in mind. On throttle input on the P-51, it seems like it climbs real aggressively when you add throttle. Does it? Yeah, it's like climbing at a 45 at full throttle, but flying level at half throttle, so. I can't believe we're flying these off a thousand milliamp two cells. I know, they're a pretty big plane for that small little battery. Yeah, I think it's because it has to swing that big prop. Yeah, they are very torquey when you add throttle, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. if you're going to add throttle, don't have your nose pointing up in the edge of a stall, right? 
Yeah. I yeah. came through a turn once and I back throttle out and it wanted to tip stall pretty good. So mm -hmm. it's definitely flying like a warbird. Yeah. Well, these were never advertised as beginner planes. These are always intermediate planes. Lift does not scale well downward. It scales wonderfully upward, but not downward. But look how great they look in the air. Yeah. And it's not terribly windy, but a little breezy and they're handling it pretty well, yeah. I think. No gyros or anything. No, no, no assistance. I will say, even though the ailerons were small, the ailerons are very nice on it. It's, yeah. it's got a lot of, I'm on high rates right now and it's got a lot of, a lot of uh, input. Yeah, I just switched over to high rates. I'm gonna see what, and try a roll here. All right, I'll do a roll too. Mine rolls like a warbird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just nice and slow and steady. Pretty fun though. It's pretty, it's not too uh, overwhelming. No. The presence a lot of in the times, air is nice too. Yeah, a lot of times warbirds are super overwhelming. This is nice. Yeah. And we're flying with all the guts on them too. So I gotta imagine if we take the guts off, it's gonna get a little bit better speed. The hurricane's not bad. It's kind of like, kind of like high alphas upside down. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna with the hurricane and it feels pretty good. Very predictable. I can feel my battery coming down. I think I'm gonna come can in you? for an approach. Go for it. Yeah, I times, wouldn't recommend this for a beginner, there's no doubt. Let's see if you can keep from breaking your prop. Yeah, I'm gonna try. And on three wheels, look nice. at that. Wow, All look right. at that. My battery's starting to get a little weak. I'm gonna come in next. All right, I'm right behind you. Wow. Look at that. Hey, on three. Coming no in pressure, hot. man. Coming in hot. <laughs> That's awesome! Good job! Very oh, nice. my hands are cold. Yeah, I can't feel my hand. Oh, well, I like it. Fun. I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty it's cool. It's a little yeah. anemic on the invert is, or inverted with yeah. down elevator, but it's it's a nice flying plane. I'd say if you're looking to get into like scale flight, scale warbirds, this yes. would probably, once you get a, a lot of training and, and start with a beginner, uh, this would be a good next step up. Maybe third, second or third plane. Yes. Probably yeah. third. Make sure you have your four channel control down really, really well because yeah. say you get up in an attitude and you stall and the torque's over on it, you're gonna need the rudder and the aileron together to mm -hmm. really compensate for that. Yeah, yeah, a lot of tip stalling. Yeah. Uh, I even got a high speed stall at one point, a high yes. speed tip stall almost, yeah. kinda. And, and uh, these are all very common with warbirds too. A lot of people say, oh, it tip stalls. Well, you know what? A P-51 Mustang or a Corsair mm -hmm. in that attitude would tip stall. Sure. So um, this is a great way to branch yourself and, and be a, a nice bridge to bigger scale planes because when you go scale, it flies like the real one. It seemed like uh, when, you know, like a real warbird coming out of the air with some inertia yes. and then using that to go in and it would do yeah. a little bit more of a barrel roll. It, yeah, yeah, definitely flew very scale. Very scale, for sure. Exactly. cool. All, all in all though, they're great. The fact that you can put them in the back seat, you have that scale detail, the presence. Mm -hmm. um, the best part I like about it is three unique airplanes flying with three fun guys. Yep. That's a perfect recipe for anyone's lunchtime, and I like that. Can you believe it, brother? We came back with three airplanes. Yeah. That's that, a first. That rarely happens. And they didn't tip over either. No, no. Which is a testimony to those awesome little landing gears they have. Now, it's not to say this is a perfect beginner plane, because I'd say no. it's probably a good second, third plane. Yeah. Um, lot to take into consideration when you're flying such a little scale warbird. They fly very, very scale, which is a lot of fun, but it's yeah. also a little bit of a challenge, it's too. It's a grand transition. If you guys are looking to go into bigger warbirds and having that true, authentic warbird experience, this is a great trainer, mm -hmm. because it does give you the lighter wing loading, but you do still need to maintain speed, concentrate on the torque of the engine. You know, stalls and, and torque, you know, come together in a very un, unharmonious way mm -hmm. if you're not careful. So this plane can give you the ability to get over that uh, and you don't have a huge investment. And for the scale detail on your workbench, it's, it's just amazing. We're gonna come up with a new format featuring the P-51 from the Weekender series called Build, Tune, Fly. And what our goal is, is hopefully to take you from the assembly process to the tuning where you're tuning your radios and your drill rates and your expos and your throws, all the way out to the different throttle settings we use, the stall character, Characteristics and also how to land it. So hopefully you can take what we've learned um, doing this episode, mm -hmm. we can repeat that to you and give you all the opportunities to have the same success we yeah, have. Yeah, because all planes have different tendencies, yes. good and bad. Yeah. And uh, w w the Build, Tune, and Fly series is basically gonna just help address those yeah. uh, so you know what to expect when you're getting into a new plane. And the P-51 here is gonna be the first. So keep an eye out for the Build, Tune, and Fly coming up very going. soon for you. And we look forward to your feedback on that yeah, as well too. Yeah, let us know what you wanna see a Build, Tune, and Fly on uh, so we can help you guys get the best experience with your planes. Yes, and we also want 
want to thank Audible.com. If you go to audible.com slash flight test, you can download a free Audible book. And how many titles do they have now? Uh, 150,000 150, now. 150,000 They're growing titles. quick. Yeah, it, I bet you in another couple of months it'll be 175. Yeah. We'll be still saying 150, but you know. Have you read any good books or listened to any Max good books? Max Lucado, uh, Facing Your Giants, is a really good book. And, and what it does is it chronicles the life struggles and victories of King David back in Bible times and also shows you how you can use biblical principles to overcome your own personal struggles as well, too. So if you like that, check it out. Very cool. Yeah. Again, that's audible.com slash flight test. Get your free audio book download. All right. Well, want to get started on this? Yeah, let's All work right, on it. All right. Grab the box. Let's go.